The longevity of Earth has been a topic of discussion for centuries. While it is known that the planet has been around for billions of years, the question remains, how much longer will it last? Scientists have been studying the Earth's lifespan for decades, and their findings have been both fascinating and concerning. One factor that plays a significant role in determining the lifespan of Earth is the sun. As the sun ages, it will continue to grow hotter and brighter, eventually causing the Earth's surface to become uninhabitable. This process is estimated to occur in about 5 billion years, which is when the sun is predicted to become a red giant. However, this is not the only factor that could potentially end the Earth's existence. Another factor that could potentially cause the end of Earth is the possibility of a catastrophic event, such as a large asteroid impact or a supervolcanic eruption. While the chances of such an event occurring are relatively low, the consequences would be devastating. Scientists need to continue studying the Earth's lifespan and potential threats to its existence to better understand how to protect and preserve our planet for future generations. The Sun is a vital component of the solar system, and its lifespan has a significant impact on the longevity of the Earth. The Sun is currently in its main sequence phase, which is the longest phase of its life cycle. However, it will not remain in this phase forever. Main Sequence Phase The main sequence phase is the phase during which the Sun fuses hydrogen into helium in its core. This process releases energy that keeps the Sun stable, and provides the energy that drives the Earth's climate and weather. The main sequence phase has been ongoing for about 4.6 billion years, and is expected to continue for another 5 billion years. Red Giant Phase Once the Sun exhausts its hydrogen fuel, it will begin to fuse helium into heavier elements. This process will cause the sun to expand and become a red giant. During this phase the sun will consume the inner planets including the Earth. The red giant phase is expected to last for about 1 billion years. White Dwarf and Beyond After the red giant phase the sun will shed its outer layers and become a white dwarf. The white dwarf phase will last for billions of years until the sun cools and fades away. The exact timeline for this phase is uncertain, but it is expected to last for trillions of years. In conclusion, the lifespan of the Sun is a crucial factor in determining the longevity of the Earth. Although the Sun is currently in its main sequence phase, it will eventually become a red giant and consume the inner planets including the Earth. However, this is not expected to happen for another 5 billion years, providing ample time for humanity to prepare for the eventual demise of our planet. Plate tectonics is the scientific theory that explains the movement of the Earth's lithosphere. The lithosphere is the outermost layer of the Earth which consists of the crust and the upper part of the mantle. The lithosphere is divided into several plates which move relative to each other. The movement of these plates causes earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. The movement of the plates is driven by convection currents in the mantle. As hot material rises, it pushes the plates apart, and as the material cools, it sinks back down, pulling the plates together. Over time, this movement has caused the continents to drift apart, and new ocean basins to form. The Earth's climate has undergone significant changes throughout its history. These changes have been caused by a variety of factors, including variations in the Earth's orbit, changes in the amount of solar radiation reaching the Earth, and volcanic activity. One of the most well-known examples of climate change is the Ice Age. The Earth has experienced several ice ages over the past two million years, during which large portions of the Earth's surface were covered by ice sheets. These ice ages were caused by variations in the Earth's orbit, which affected the amount of solar radiation reaching the Earth. Volcanic activity can also have a significant impact on the Earth's climate. When a volcano erupts, it releases large amounts of gases and particles into the atmosphere. These particles can reflect sunlight into space, cooling the Earth's surface. In addition, the gases released by volcanoes can trap heat in the atmosphere, causing the Earth's temperature to rise. Meteor impacts have been a frequent occurrence throughout the Earth's history. Although most of them are small and harmless, some large ones have caused significant damage to our planet. The most famous example of a meteor impact is the one that is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Scientists estimate that a meteor impact large enough to cause a mass extinction event occurs once every 100 million years. However, smaller impacts can occur more frequently. The impact of a meteor can cause fires, tsunamis, and even change the climate of the Earth. Overall, the Earth's geological changes have played a significant role in shaping the planet's environment over millions of years. While these changes will continue to occur, 
It is important to understand their impact on the Earth's climate and ecosystems. As technology advances, so does the ability to detect and prevent potential threats to Earth. Currently, there are several programs in place to monitor asteroids and other celestial bodies that could potentially collide with the planet. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, for example, works to detect and track potentially hazardous objects and develop strategies to mitigate any potential impact. In addition to detection and tracking, there are also efforts underway to develop technologies that could deflect or destroy incoming objects. These include laser systems and kinetic impactors that could be used to alter the trajectory of an object before it reaches Earth. As the Earth's resources become increasingly strained, there is growing interest in the idea of terraforming other planets to make them habitable for humans. While this technology is still in its infancy, there have been some promising developments in recent years. One potential target for terraforming is Mars, which has a similar composition to Earth and could potentially support life with the right conditions. There are also plans in place to establish a permanent human settlement on Mars, with organizations like SpaceX and NASA working to develop the necessary technologies for such a mission. Overall, technological advancements provide hope for the future of humanity and the Earth. While there are still many challenges to overcome, the progress being made in areas like planetary defense and terraforming could help ensure that our planet and our species continue to thrive for generations to come.